Good old red got me home again. Let's see what's going on over here. I asked mama if we could uh, go to the pool. So let's see. Let's go to the pool. Yeah, we're going to the pool. Yeah. yeah. And look, we caught a bottle blingy. Whoa. You're going to bring that blue one? Yeah, Thanks, Mom, for blue getting blue us blue all dressed blue up. Blue Hi, babies. Can I yeah, what do you want to tell me? I, I, we just found this one. Wow, where'd mm -hmm. you find it at? Uh, we found it in the toy room. Okay. Are you seeing some of the best pictures? Um, all right, let's go to the pool. Right, so we're yep. starting to mount up tires. And then let's go check out. The other axle is missing for some reason. And we're going to have the Escalade back together. Probably about enough. Yeah, come on. Let's go check out the how much taller the, the Jeep got. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> He's like, yeah. You guys put this fence in too, huh? I need to put one in my dang. Oh, my goodness. It's way higher. <laughs> and the exhaust fit perfectly. Did you already know that? Perfect. Right behind it. Awesome. Yeah. How, how, did you put that in there by yourself? Yeah. You just rolled it in there? <laughs> oh, I, uh, I balanced the, the rear axle on the jack and rolled it under there. <laughs> That's awesome. Welded everything. That is going to be, now you're going to have to cut out some fender. <laughs> Need some adjusting. That's awesome, dude. All right, let's hit the pool, boys. So you guys want to go wheeling one day mm -hmm. with Brandon? Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna put the front one under. And this right here is called an intercooler. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm. It has a whistly turbo on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that rock? What's that rock? Mm -hmm. See, I whistly see turbo. I can't see it. Well, I'll show you once I put one of these hands free, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the pool, guys. Got the pool time in, but somebody has to go to sleep early, so we gotta hang out and go back home. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Go put him to bed, and then uh, mom will bring home the other two. Okay. Um, make the transmission in the like lower gear shift right at 6,000 RPMs when you're wide open throttle. The stuff you gotta do for deleting AFM, correct? No, this is part of just like a mild, uh, mild tune. I lift some, some, um, you know, since I'm in here, I'm gonna lift some, uh, parameters some torque limitations and stuff okay. in the background sweet um and then set it so that you uh you know the transmission tune is going to be stock except for it wide open throttle and i just command a tiny bit more or a tiny bit less as you'd say um shift timing and set up the uh shift table so it wants nice. to shift right at six sweet and that suits like whether it's the five through the six two it suits the stock engine nice well. fart kylan thanks for that buddy that's good stuff, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take him and put him to bed. But uh, yeah, and from when it's cold, first to second, mm -hmm. boom, every time. Uh, have you had the trans? This is one of the eight speeds. They're problematic. Have you had it flushed yet? I flushed it myself. All right, there is a machine that forces like 14 quarts of fluid through it. Uh -huh. It's really one of those things. Unless there's a actual aftermarket transmission shop that has the correct gear for. Yeah, because we just speed. drained it and put new in, put new yeah. filter. That's not gonna do it. Okay. Please. So really maybe I can talk to you it. about a, someone you can put me in touch with. Uh, you're either going to go through the dealer, uh, the guys at Greenville Transmission Tech might do it. Okay. You might be able to, like, you might know, like, someone has the gear to do it. That's why uh, I'm... They're putting 14, like, quarts worth of fluid through. There's a revised fluid, um, and it usually gets rid of shutters and... Because that's the only thing it does is, once shutters. it's warm, never again. Just a first warm. Boom! These are, these are finicky. There's a lot of problems with all the modern GMs. Um, the, this active fuel management or displacement on demand, like, when it's in four-cylinder mode, it's really... You know, you feel the vibrations through the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're having the converter slip an extra amount, and it hazes the converter and puts converter clutch material so down to the fluid. Up. And then the fluid ends up like you know, it's those deposits form other places in the uh, transmission. It makes them unhappy. Well, I'm glad you can help me get rid of all that, so my wife can have a car she likes to drive again. Yes. Well, thanks, guys. Take care. You are the good morning. Hey, how you doing over there? Like your hat, man. My youngest is like, hey, man, I want a hat like that. And we are at, where are we at, Cash? 
Where are we at? Waffle House. Waffle House? What do you like the best at Waffle House? Uh, Waffle. Waffle House. You know what I like at the house? So when Truck and Wife was a little girl, she used to go into this tree. So she wanted to show these two the big magnolia trees she used to play in. Watch for spider webs. There's one right there. I don't want to mess up this web. What's up, dude? Oh, you used to be able to climb? You can still get up there, but. Oh, yeah, you can. You can just climb up here. Hi. Yeah, Bubba. That's cool, Mama. I like your little playground. Yeah. How old were you when you used to play here? I don't know, like 12, 13? Hmm? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the local playground, Simpsonville. Good times. All right, guys, I figure if you uh, want to see the new Tahoes, here we are. The uh, majority are coming with the 5.3, but this is actually the 6.2. Right there. I don't know if they're changing the, the platform or if it's still L86, but look at those headlights. But the interior is where it's at. Look at these screens. Goodness gracious. All right, here is the new, uh, good old, let's turn that copyright music off. Huge screen, I don't know. Do you know if it moves or if it's just kind of stationary, right? The screen there. Yeah, it's just stationary, yeah, huh? Stationary. Wow, that thing's huge. Come the screens hand. in the back come off and you can hold those. Oh, really? Yeah. We got a, we got a demo of that. And then look at this uh, sunroof, let's see. We got tilt, we got slide. Look at this thing. Okay. The big boy. Now they're going with the full pano. And this is the high country model. Pretty much the same thing as the Escalade is going to be, but the different different interior. Let's check out this back right here. Nice truck. So if you want to jump on the other side, show me how the screens come off. They haven't shown me how those screens. They haven't shown you how they come off yet, but they do, huh? They haven't given us the demo on them. So Huge I don't screens. Have to get inside of the roof of the I've just been told they come off. There you go. Well, here's the new Tahoes, guys. Third row. And I'm waiting to see that Escalade, man. I can't wait. <clears throat> what do we got, 22 again? They had one on Saturday. Well, it's about three Saturdays ago. They had one in here for... Uh, Somebody already bought it, though, pre-order? Oh, no, they just brought it to show Ah, oh, demo it. But look at this exhaust, too, guys. You got the good four, uh, full four nowadays. But there you go, the new Tahoe Suburban. Kevin Whitaker, and we got Peyton, right? Yes, sir. From Sinks, how do you say it, Fall? Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Come yeah. down and check him out. He's got two of them. He's going to be getting more. And when are you guys getting to bourbon? Uh, probably it's probably going to be in the next month. Mid month. So. And then the Escalade yeah. next month? They don't know. A couple months. I don't know when that Escalade's coming. Yeah. Else, Five, six months, maybe. Yeah. And how many C8s have you guys had so far? 15. 15? Nice. 15. One guy in where we live has a white one that's like full decked out. Oh, yeah. It's like 120 grand. Yeah, they're going for like 140 on eBay. Man. Well, yeah. nice talking with you, brother. Thanks for showing this thing, yes, man. No Bye, Bob. Yeah. I love you. I caught it. Thank you, Bubba. Bye bye, Kai. He's like, uh, no, don't go. Oh, he's sad. Well, off to Alabama. I love you. I'll be home soon, okay? Bye-bye, little red truck. Off to Alabama. Okay, so I went to Walmart. I grabbed an Easy Chill uh, all-in-one with a gauge and 18 ounces of uh, refrigerant. As soon as I hooked that thing up to the uh, low pressure side and pulled the trigger on it, automatically the... Um, fan clutch engaged and it started to uh, spin so that wasn't happening before so it was low on refrigerant that was it but I think what made it kind of um, blow could have been the resistor I think the resistor was fine but at least I have a new one now just in case because the other one did have some corrosion on it but um, 
all that heavy rain and where that filter is, I think it kind of got some more moisture inside the box than it already had. So that um, let it freeze up. So it had some extra moisture inside the box. So that's why I have a lot of water in there. So I turned the heater on for a good 10, 15 minutes before I shut this thing down last time and kind of got all my stuff out the truck, got an old red and then um, just kind of got the heat in there to kind of sauna and evaporate out that, that extra moisture in there. And hopefully that did the trick, but it is back to ice cold again. We are frigid, so. Yeah, a little, we have a leak somewhere. We got those expansion valves. We'll get all that taken care of, but right now we're getting to Alabama. You make sacrifices out here as a truck driver. You gotta leave the family and um, you gotta drive through Atlanta during rush hour. Yikes. It doesn't deliver till nine. Oh, I'm on schedule for about 6.30 right now. Oh, there's a dog in the road, a poor buck. We see a lot of deer, but we don't see a dog. But uh, yeah, we're about to cross into Georgia, get the weight station, and then we have to go through Atlanta. It's like 3.30 right now, 3.35. We're gonna get prime time rush hour. That's not gonna be fun. So, but let me stay home all morning. Take those kids. We had some fun at the Waffle House. Went to that park. It's a nice day. It's not. It's not too hot anymore. But the pool closes on September seventh, um, Labor Day, right before. The, the, that's when it, Memorial Day and Labor Day is when it's uh, open. So, only a couple more weeks. We gotta get some pool time in there. And uh, now we're back to pulling it body armor bottles, which truck and wife got a couple more cases of that body armor stuff in the store yesterday. It's good stuff. I've tried it. That's not my, I don't know. I haven't checked the sugars and stuff on it, but I don't like to drink stuff with sugar on it. It just kind of makes me feel blah. So let's get into Georgia and let's get into Alabama. And these clouds, uh, it was pretty clear skies today over there when we were at the park and stuff today and you know, yesterday, but now I'm seeing all these clouds because we're heading into that, uh, Hurricane Laura that is coming up. So I'm gonna be in Montgomery, Alabama area, a little bit north, of, about middle of Alabama. So I think it's supposed to hit over there by Houston. So I'm a little bit off and I might get some tailwinds off the edge of it. So we'll see. In the meantime, let's get to this weight station. There he goes, the uh, police officer, uh, state patrol, whatever, I don't know what sheriff what it is, but he just went zooming by me, he's gonna get somebody that truck up there with the trailer. Oh. Now he's trying to get around him. He's pulling left to show him he's on his butt. <laughs> I see somebody pulling over up here. Got the, uh, can't get over. We got trucks all over the place next to me. He's out of the truck quick. Just pulled that guy over. or something. Control. <laughs> this is a six-speed transmission and a 10-cylinder. 
crazy car. If you look up those I-8s, it's a mostly electric with a small turbocharged motor. I think it's like a three-cylinder, real small little motor for extra, just for generating power and uh, for recharging the batteries. But it has a like megaphone exhaust with a speaker in it that makes it sound like it's a uh, sports car. It's kind of crazy. But they're for sure it was fun. It has those uh, cool Lambo style doors going almost and then uh, truck and wife and I had a great time in that car. We had a white one. Uh, 2019 Roadster so the top one back was cool. But yeah, first those guys don't think get that fixed but yikes. These cars are uh, not cheap either. The one we were had was like 100 If you've listened to early 2000s rap, welcome to Atlanta, as Ludacris would say. We're going 25 miles an hour. And, uh, well, it is rush hour though, so I can't really. I knew this was coming, but we're still two and a half hours ahead of schedule, so hopefully there's no major wrecks. And we can get through this. But yeah, welcome to Atlanta. We don't play. SUV. 
thanks for everyone who commented on that uh, place being built right off of 85. That's a lithium battery place. But there's the Kias. I had a Kia Sorento once. Twice I had two Sorentos. The SXLs, I think they were called. But they were decked out. Like piano roof, air conditioning seats, all that kind of stuff. But they weren't too pricey. And I never had one problem with those things. I think I changed the battery. So, well made. And we're getting back into the rain. Say a prayer for me. We've got a pretty sunset over here. We're coming through Auburn. That's, oh, this is probably construction. I've never seen a green lights like that in the back of a truck, but we got green lights. we got an officer, state patrol. What are we doing here? We're painting lines? Getting close. We're inside of 40 miles. Get to this drop and see what we got. We made it. Pray that that person's okay. What's going on with the good old, uh... All right, Westport, here we are. Carquest Auto Parts, Fastening Solutions. Alright. a bunch of buildings here, it's going to be fun to find which one it is. But hey, we made it. God bless them. We'll love this video. Uh, every day is a, is a battle between good and evil. Add one letter to one of those, and you drop one to the other, and you pick which side you want. You know your worth. Stick to your guns. God bless. Let's see what Thursday holds. I'm gonna get this off the truck, hopefully in a couple hours, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow. So I don't know if they did it on purpose or not, but Coyote has the receiver as United, United something like United Merchandising, and then it says CC. NC, I want to say. But it's Coca Cola. <laughs> I should have just said Coca Cola. But uh, we'll see how quick they are. She says, hey, they're waiting for you. Go ahead and get in door 46. So, pretty quick check in process. They're not too bad about it. It's just a little tight and the road is rough. I'm looking for 46. I went past it. I don't know where it's at. I don't know what kind of trailers I got, but I'm kind of edging my trailer towards something, which looks like it might be 46. Let's see. Definitely not 46, because that's 44, so it's past it. So let's straighten back out. But yeah, Coca-Cola in Orlando. Uh, been there twice now, and it's a little bit of a process. This one, much better. So, they're not all the same. I've also been to Coca-Cola in Auburndale, Auburndale, I think, Florida, kind of by Lakeland. And uh, that one was two hours on the dock but the really rude office guy. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's just mad at everybody. He like, wants you to drill sergeant, but you're going to come across that in trucking. Let's see, we got 35. Where is 46? Well, we found 46. And the light was red when I got to it, so probably never turned it off. They said we're waiting, so we'll see how long it takes for a Coca-Cola of Montgomery. <laughs>